Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Bounty Hunter Edition. Now, with other classes, you usually have to go and speak to some guy, some idiotic fellow in that camp over there. But, because we are a bounty hunter, we are a little more rebellious than that. And speaking of rebellious, we actually do have to eliminate some rebel scum. Uh, yes, it's been a while since we've had to eliminate some rebel scum. <laughs> yes, exactly. So we have a bunch of rebel slaves around here, and we have a new ability. It's actually called Sweeping Blasters. Oh, yes. What an original name. Oh, yes. Fantastic, isn't it? So we're going to be using our amazing blasters to dispatch rebel forces. Yes, exactly. So, now, what's cool about this is that the default attack actually looks better than any other ability I have right now. Isn't that sad? I don't even know what it is. I think it's probably just because we are using dual blasters, and I actually have never used dual blasters, so it's actually really cool to see both of them firing off at once. Obviously, this looks pretty cool, but in general, the basic attack actually looks the coolest because you're firing vo -vo 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 and various other things. I obviously cannot do the sound effects completely because I'm not that guy from Police Academy, but still, still, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, I gotta say. So, we're gonna see what actually happens here. I did notice that there's actually a thing that when you use Tracer Missile, there's actually a an activatable something or other that actually makes a big difference to your damage or something. I'm actually unsure why, well, what it is, but I guess we're going to try and find out what it does. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's what it does. Okay, so as you can see here, it's actually called Tracer Lock. And what that does is it increases our rail shot damage, and it also increases, well, shall we say, reduces the activation time of Rapid Scan, and also improves the healing dealt on healing Rapid Thingy Scan person. Yes, that thing. So, let's investigate. My dear Altaka, when I got your message, I could scarcely believe it. We have found each other after all these years. Oh, looks like a love letter from an Imperial noble, no less. Juicy. Pay attention. This may help us. Righto. It must have been the Force that brought you here to Drum and Curse, dear Altaka. As for your predicament, fear not. I have friends in high places, and for the right price, they have agreed to help me. When the slaves attempt their pitiful revolution, a man will come to you dressed in rags. He will bring you to me. I shall say you are my missing brother. We will be Lord and Lady Dakar. I'm afraid I cannot get you off-world and back to your beloved family, but I promise to make your every moment here a joy. Our lifestyle will be the envy of all, and we'll attend parties at the Nexus Room every night. Be ready to join me, my love. Wait, so the lady is his lover, but now he's posing as her brother? That's disgusting. Sounds like the Nexus Room is where we'll find these weirdos. This whole planet is weird. I am with you there. Let's go meet this Lord and Lady Daka. Lead on, boss. Oh yes, I really do like Mako. She is one of the other companions apart from Kira and I think probably Vet and uh, there's a couple of others but obviously I haven't really played many classes so yes. But there are a couple of very select companions that you really do grow to like almost instantaneously because they usually have a very good voice actor or voice actress and it just really bonds you to the character pretty nicely. Obviously the script has a big thing to do with it as well but it's really cool actually to see that happen right before your eyes you're just like wow that's a really good line isn't it i mean that's a really good line so let us move to the nexus room cantina which just so happens to be in the back room of course where else would it be we are a bounty hunter after all there yeah, sir just as i said that looks like him all right bounty hunter i am sergeant warlax of the imperial navy you are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. How about I just hand over the ammo instead? Don't get cute, off-world scum. You're lucky to be breathing the same air as me, alien. Don't push your luck. Sergeant, Tarot Blood here. Have you completed my little errand yet? Blood, you steaming pile of filth! Blast it! I told you not to call on this channel! Since when does the Imperial Navy take its orders from Mandalorians? Oh, this is ridiculously tiresome. 
He's still alive? What is wrong with you, Sergeant? Uh, sir? Who's that guy? Blood. I'll talk to you later. Ignore the chatter, men. Let's take this hunter in. I don't know what's going on here, Sarge, but I know it stinks. Yeah. Either you cut us in on this deal, or we walk. You can't spend credits if you're all dead. That makes a whole lot of sense. Let's get out of here. I'm with you. Cowards! The rest of you, attack! Oh, well, that was amusing, wasn't it? Okay, so apparently... Yes, we're just going to shoot him in the face pretty hardcore right there, but... Did you see that? I didn't even, I see that's the cool thing about actually turning off the light dark indicators. You have no idea what you're going to do. And I, I actually didn't think that that was actually a light side option. I thought that was just some kind of neutral thing, but I was trying to intimidate them or something because, well, we are a big hulking Cathar bounty hunter. How, how can you not be scared of that? I mean, really. But, whatever the case, let's open the cantina door and see what's behind it. Oh, hello. Apparently Lord Dakar is behind here. Oh, and the lady, too. Yes, may I help you with something? Darling, please don't speak to that thing. It's clearly not supposed to be here, and we shouldn't let ourselves look like we approve. Come, let us get a drink. Not much of a family resemblance between you and your brother. We, we, we had different mothers. Yes, that's right. We're only half-siblings. Uh, unless I'm misremembering. Stow it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from him. We knew this might happen eventually. Yeah, only so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. So you know our little secret. What does an insignificant creature like you want? What would make you dare threaten a noble? I was promised a pile of credits to take him back to the Republic. You mean back to my family, don't you? But I thought, uh... You... you told me I was trapped here. That I would have to forget my family. That this... this charade was the only way. Inside voice, darling. I may have exaggerated a bit, but hasn't it been nice here? The parties, the late nights, the intrigues and such? You witch! Keeping me here as your plaything when I could have been home with my sisters and dear mother. Ugh, oh, you can be such a whiny pain. It's a wonder your nobility. Let us make a new deal, bounty hunter. Make this fast, lady. I've got other things to do. My darling, my lovely Altaka. Wouldn't you rather stay here with me than run home to your pathetic Republic family? What? Of course not. You treat me like a pet and this planet is disgusting. In fact, I'd rather... Yes, yes, you've made your tiresome viewpoint clear. Then here is what I propose. I assume Altaka's family will pay less for just his body. Kill him, show me the slip and I'll compensate you the difference. Uh, what? You want him to kill me? You think I'd let you walk away and be someone else's pet? Never. This keeps getting more disturbing. She's insane. Please take me back to my family. It would mean so much to them, to my poor mother. I don't kill people unless I have to. You've made a very big mistake here today. Now take this thing and leave. Your kind does not belong here. You don't scare me, you pathetic witch. Just leave. Ooh, oh, oh, what, 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 what did we just do there? Wow, that was fantastic. We told her, we definitely told her. That was absolutely amazing. Ah, uh, yes. Stuff it, you old witch. Oh, oh, he, he definitely knows how to say it. And I gotta say that the bounty hunter really knows how to he just has the sass, doesn't he? He has the sass and he has the... I don't even know, the swagger, I suppose you could say. Much more than other classes I've played so far. I guess they are all playing a role, of course. The Imperial Agent is more of a spy role, and obviously the Force users are all playing theirs, but yeah, I gotta say, that's actually pretty cool. But yeah, now all we need to do is head back to the Mandalorian Enclave and report back to Krista, of course. Now, I have to say that that, in my opinion, has to be one of the funniest and maybe one of the coolest interactions I've had in early quests. Maybe. That's actually really kind of strange. I always feel like the early quests on each class are really enthralling and actually very exciting because, well, they're just so absurd at times. 
they're either really absurd or really dark and kind of cool and oh it's just it's just really nice to see how the bounty hunter is because I, I personally found mm, I personally found the troopers not to be that good but it did get a lot better later on but bounty hunter starting off strong by the looks of things hey there hunter competition out there something crazy a couple of hunters died in the jungles Big Trandoshan got arrested by the Imperials, and you found yourself an unfindable Republic noble. His family was plenty generous with their live bounty. If this is a competition, why are there still credits on these jobs? Well, first of all, gear and ammo ain't cheap. Second, the Great Hunt is mostly secret, so the more it looks business as usual, the better. Your second bounty's a bit of a mystery. Apparently, whoever's stacking the deck against you gonna keep right on stacking. Hardly surprising. What I got here is a classified red flag request from Imperial Command. No details, just flashy warnings and a contact. Admiral Frabal, Imperial Navy. Hand it over, and I'll go see this Admiral Frabal. Watch yourself in that first sit and squawk. Imperials think aliens are disposable. Alien bounty hunters rank somewhere below droids. Here's the slip. Frabal's in the city, not all that far a stroll. Go get him. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go and get him. Why not? Okay, well that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna take this blo oh wait, you can actually take both of them. Okay, I don't even have to choose. Oh fantastic. So let's see, what am I gonna do? I am going to be replacing the Manhunter's Blaster, I think. Yes, there we go. That's a little bit of a bigger weapon as well. I actually don't mind that. I'm gonna be putting this crystal in there too. Thank you, thank you very much. So yes, that's actually pretty cool. Yep, there we go. That's a pretty nice upgrade. And I think I should probably use another experience boost because, well, R1 was running out and it's about time that we actually get another one. So, let's head on over to Admiral Frabal's office, which just appears to be a little bit southwest from the Nexus Room Cantina. Alright, so, Bounty Hunter Zayton has arrived at Admiral Forbal's office and apparently the mission is called Family Cleansing. Well that was kind of funny after the previous one they were pretending to be brother and sister. I guess we'll see what's happening here. This is the office of Admiral Frabal of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business here? I'm here to see the Admiral. Let me in. I don't think so. I doubt the Admiral would have anything to do with your kind. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna shoot you in the head. What? You wouldn't dare. What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome alien here, Admiral. It refuses to leave. Quarrelsome? You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. You may go in now. Never stand in my way again. The Admiral is waiting. Ooh, okay, well, I didn't mean to actually make Mako, oh yes, make Mako, oh, yeah, that's going to happen a lot, actually, but did not mean to get her disapproval there, but obviously I have no idea what's going to happen, I have no idea whether the bounty hunter's going to shoot that guy's head off, or I don't, I don't even know, I don't even know, but we're going to head in and speak to the Admiral now. A very small man, is he not? Oh yes, he's about to become a moth, no doubt. Come in, mercenary. I apologize if my secretary caused you grief. He is of low birth and his intelligence reflects it. I'm afraid many of our Imperial soldiers are hopeless with delicate tasks. This is, of course, why I asked for a professional. If it's delicate you want, it's delicate you'll get. I have every faith in the Mandalorian Enclave's ability to get things done discreetly. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. I'm a hunter. I don't kill people unless I have to. You are more than welcome to try taking her alive, but she will not allow it. My daughter was born Force-sensitive and trained to be Sith. A great honor for our family. Unfortunately, my daughter's master is one Lord Grathen, a madman who is now disgraced in the eyes of the Dark Council. All I need to know is where she is. I applaud your discretion, but I need you to understand the gravity of the situation. If Lord Grathen's compound is raided and my daughter captured or killed, every member of her family will suffer. This is Sith politics. In the best case scenario, I lose my rank and position. 
in the worst. You'd get squashed like a bug? An inelegant way to phrase it, but yes. Lord Grathen is a paranoid madman. His compound is built to withstand a siege, but a lone infiltrator will take them by surprise. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. Is there going to be fallout for taking down a Sith? Not as long as nobody knows what happened. Hang on, I've been running some data. Turns out renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. It'd be a shame to let those bounties go to waste. And we might need those extra credits to gear you up for the big melee. Remember, discretion is essential. Do not let yourself be captured. Good luck. What? What, what was that, Admiral? I was talking to Mako. How dare you interrupt? Uh, you, uh, you, you terrible, you terrible man. I, I, li literally, did you see that? We walked away towards the door, and we were like, "Oh yes, we, we're gonna, we're gonna go and collect more bounties," and we're having a private conversation. And then the admiral is just shouting over, "Hey, uh, don't forget, uh, good luck," and and things. Yeah, he did that. He did do that, didn't he? That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay, so. We now have to head on to the Grathen Estate. But for now, I'm going to be ending this episode off here. And so I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.